What's going on YouTube? My name is David Shea with Active IT Solutions and today I want to show you about setting up a Google Calendar that you can share with your entire company. Let's get started. Alright, let's go ahead and make this company calendar. First you'll need to make sure that you're signed in as an administrator. Then we'll go up to the top right here to this little sprocket gear icon and we'll go and click on manage this domain. Next we're going to go into groups. Now if you don't see groups you'll notice at the bottom here there's this area called called more controls. If you click on this more the, you, you should find the groups option here so you can either drag and drop it or just click on it there and leave it down there. But um, find groups and we're going to click on it and we're going to go to the bottom right here where there's this little plus and we're going to say create groups. Okay, we're going to name this group. We're just going to name the group company. You can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to make the actual group email address company as well. You can put a description as you want. We're going to leave the access level as team. I am not going to check any of these boxes. I do not want people from the internet being able to email into our group company at ActiveITS. So this is all just going to be internal. Once we have done this, we're going to click on create and we now have this group. Next, we need to actually add all of our users. So we're going to go to manage users in company. Click on that. Okay, and then you'll notice here on the bottom right of this box, add all users in this domain. So when we click on this, it's going to add a user called all users within Active IT Solutions. So now everybody is in our group. Um, so we can actually go ahead and just exit out of this tab because this is already created. There isn't a save button, it's just there. Okay. So now that we're back into our main email area and the group has been created, we're going to go to the top right and we're going to click on these nine boxes here, makes a little square, and we're going to go to calendar. Once in calendar on the left, if we click on this little drop down arrow, we will select create new calendar and we'll name this calendar company Cal. You could put a description as you want, you could use locations if you want, um, and we're going to click on share this calendar with others, and it'll automatically check this box saying share this calendar with everyone in your organization, see all event details. I'm a little confused by this because I haven't actually gotten this to work, but I have noticed that when I don't check on this, the next part actually doesn't work. So just check this box. Make sure this is the way it needs to be. And the next thing we're going to do is add the group. So company at activeits.com. And I'm going to say see all event details. There's a couple different options here. I'll go over them in a minute. So, but we're going to leave this as see all event details. And then add the person. Okay, so the difference, well, let me show you these drop downs. So we have C only free and busy. It hides the details. So if there's Hangout with Jerry tomorrow, it's not going to show that. It's just going to say free or busy. Um, next is CL event details, pretty self explanatory. You'll be able to see them. Uh, make changes to events. This will allow people to actually create uh, calendar appointments, change calendar appointments, invite people to calendar appointments, etc. And then finally, make changes and add, um, th th pretty much this is just allowing you to do what we're doing right here. So if there was someone else that you wanted to have admin rights to being able to you know, add more people to sharing or removing, then you would do this. So right now, I'm the only person that's able to do anything on the calendar. Everybody else can only see what I put on there. But let's say that I want Jim to be able to add to this as well. So if I grab Jim, type in his information, and I change his permissions over to make changes to events. Now he'll actually be able to make those changes as well. So once this is done, we're going to click on create calendar, and the calendar is made. That's it. 
okay? So at this point, we've created the calendar, we've created a group for the entire company, and we have shared this calendar with that group. So now, if we go back to our email, you'll notice that there's an email here saying this email's been shared with you. This really doesn't matter for me because in my account, um, you know, I'm the one that made it, so my calendar's already there. You know, here I'll show you. See, company cal. So I can disregard that email. But all of your employees are going to have this email as well, and they need to click on add to calendar. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and jump into Jane Doe's calendar. All right, now we're Jane Doe, okay? And let me show you the calendar. Let me bring that up. All right, and here is Jane's calendar. You'll notice that she doesn't have the company calendar in there. What she needs to do first before she could add it to her phone, before she could see it in Outlook with Google App Sync, and before she could see it here is she needs to go into that email that she has now received and click on Add to the Calendar. Okay, so now you'll get this right here that says, yes, add this calendar. All right, and there it is, Company Calendar. So now, um, let me go ahead and discard that, I don't want that. All right, so if I try to create as Jane a calendar, you'll notice it doesn't give me any options. I can't change it. The only one that I have as an option right now is Jane Doe's calendar. However, if I go into John Doe's calendar, wherever that is, here it is, and I click on a calendar appointment, we'll just make a test appointment you'll see right here that it has this drop down menu and if I click on that here's company calendar so I'll create this event test and you'll notice that it's brown versus red also you'll see that right here if you want to change this color you know brown's kind of a crappy color literally you can do this drop down here and let's say that we want our company calendar to be green when we click that now it's green. This is only on an individual basis. So when we jump over to Jane's calendar here, you'll notice that her calendar is blue. But I've created this calendar and um, this calendar appointment. And over in Jane's, let's go ahead and refresh this. You'll notice that it'll now show up. There it is. Here's our test. Now she can view it. She can um, see all the details, but she can't make any changes to it. Anyways, that's how you create a company calendar in Google Apps for your company or team. I hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll be putting out many more videos that are focused primarily on small business solutions and tech, not just Google Apps. So, so um, expect many more great videos just like this one. Feel free if you have any questions or comments to so leave them below and I will make sure to get back to you on those. Take care.